All right, standard dirt, dirt hole set. It's caught more animals than any other set made. Easy to make. Um, there's variations of it. This is this is the basic dirt hole set, uh, which is what we primarily use, and um, caught plenty of critters. First thing I'm gonna do, have just a little bit of a backing. So it's just slightly rised. You can use a tuft of grass, um, which is what this is pretty much. Um, corn stalk, a row of bean stubble, small rock, but you need something that they can see over. Dig a hole, basically as deep as you can in the 10 to 12 inch range. The idea being that bait's gonna be down in there and you want him to have to work at it to get it. And the more he works at it, the longer you got for him to be here, and the better chance you got that he's gonna step in your trap. Now we're gonna dig a bed for the trap. And eliminate some of this taller stuff right here. Gotta remember, coyotes close to the ground, so what appears to us is not a big deal. It's it's more affects them. So cable stake doesn't look like much. Stake driver goes in there just like that. Drive it in. Pull this out, give it a tug, and we're taking that stake from a vertical to a horizontal position, and that's what's holding that. There's nothing going to pull that out of there. Now the key on these traps is to get them bedded so they're not wobbling. So if the coyote happened to step here, we don't want it, we don't want it pushing up like that. So we're gonna get it bedded in so that it's good and solid. As you can see, I'm right on the hole. And normally the dog of the trap, this is the dog, is anywhere from the 12 to two o'clock position. I'm normally in the one to two o'clock position with this. And I just feel that this is the least likely place that the coyote's going to step. But the reason, my reasoning for the trap to be close to the hole is um, if the coyote works it from the sides, you got a good chance. Even if he wants to come in from the back, you got a good chance of him stepping on that hole. The angle of the hole is like this. So he can't see down the hole from over there. He has to come to this side. Pin cover, I'm just using wax paper, wad it up so it doesn't crinkle. Pull it out. Lift your loose jaw up. Fit it under there like so. And that keeps dirt from getting underneath the pan of the trap so the trap will fire, so the trap, so the pan of the trap will go down. If you don't put that under there, the dirt's gonna sift up underneath there and um, then it won't, it, it won't fire. Take the dirt that you've dug up, and I'm going to need a little bit more. If you don't have enough dirt on location, just go get some, you know, beside, near you. So we're just going to, just enough to cover the trap. Spread it out. And the pin of the trap is right there. So I just want that barely covered. So we've got kind of a natural edges here. No hard edges to this. And that's basically the finished set. Now what we're going to do, we put separate gloves on to handle our bait and lure. If you get bait and lure on your setting gloves, then you're going to have bait and lure contaminating the trap. So we don't want that, we don't want that to occur. 
because then they're going to be wanting to dig up the trap because that's where the scent's at. We don't want any attention drawn right here. We want all the attention drawn right here. So top dog predator bait down in the hole. Little Vixen Elixir. And we'll finish it out with a little bit of urine. You can use coyote urine, you can use red fox urine, you can use bobcat urine. Uh, all of those will attract coyotes. Smooth this out a little bit. That's the finished set.